Hi, my name is Ethan, and I'm from sunny Central Florida. You're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on the best channel on YouTube, TJV. Enjoy. <laughs> Another morning has arrived. Today's gonna be a rushed, rushed day. Not too much time for stopping today. We've gotta to stay focused. We have to get to our delivery point before 10 p.m., well before 10 p.m., so they have time to unload us. They already stay open pretty late, which is awesome for us. But if I don't get unloaded today, I'm stuck there all weekend, and I'm gonna miss the appointment on Monday with Brett. Can't let that happen, so we gotta stay focused today. We're here at the Flying J in uh, Davidson, Saskatchewan. Just gonna run and grab a coffee, some food, and we'll start heading towards the border at uh, North Portal, Saskatchewan and Portal, North Dakota. into Minot, North Dakota. Why not go to Minot? Come on down to Minot. It's actually a nice town. No stopping though. We got 200 more kilometers or 120 miles. Looks like we're gonna make it. Uh, probably around 8.30 and they're there till 10. But uh, I don't wanna push it any further than that. I wanna get, I have to get unloaded today. I have to be home tomorrow. It's always a rush, it's always a rush. Some days are just more rushed than others. This is like one of the most rushed days I've had. Literally no time to spare. Stopping for bathroom breaks and that's it. I'm gonna get to the customer before I need to take my half hour break because I'm in the US, so I need to do that half hour break. I'm skipping stopping here, Flying J off to our left for a coffee, which is very hard for me to do. Not that I need, need the coffee. But I wouldn't mind one. No time though, no time. Well, straight on through. Once we're delivered, once I have an empty trailer, I'm just headed back empty. Then we can take our time. We're not gonna get back tonight yet. But uh, at least we won't be so rushed. I'm hoping to be able to get a Blue Beacon wash in Fargo. I made it. I'm getting unloaded. What a ride. <laughs> I'm tired. And I got here with uh, 20 minutes left on the eight hours before I need to take a half hour. So it doesn't look too busy around here and they're here till 10. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna 
hang around here for a half hour after we're done. Actually, they let you use on-duty time now, don't they? Like on-duty not driving as part of your half hour not driving. It doesn't have to be off-duty. Is that right? I don't know. I'm Canadian. We don't have we don't have those regulations. <laughs> you just go as long as you want. They just trust you that you'll stop when you're tired. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, we, we have to stop after 13 hours. We have 13 hours we can drive in a day uh, in a 16-hour window as opposed to down here where it's 11 hours in a 14-hour window max. Plus, you have to take a half hour break w within eight hours of drive. You can only drive eight hours and you have to take like a government mandated break. It's one of the only professions and careers you can be in where you can actually get arrested for working overtime and working too hard in the US here. So a little bit easier to make money and uh, get further in Canada, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm uh, happy to bring them, happy to bring them their lumber. I'm gonna get my straps off and the guy's gonna come here and unload me. go empty we're gonna head home from here it's a little bit of a long hike empty that was my decision I could have waited around till Monday to get a load out of here but I'm just six hours from home I'm not gonna spend a weekend away from my wife and dogs and possible baby just because I don't want to drive six hours and I'll, I'll drive the six hours so I can be home it's not that bad so we're gonna be home tomorrow and then uh, so tomorrow is Saturday be home Sunday we'll be home Monday and then Tuesday I'm scheduled back out don't have a load yet but we'll figure it out on Monday and let's just go home enjoy the weekend should be home I'll drive a few hours tonight yet. I'll say midday sometime in the afternoon tomorrow. I'm not gonna push myself too hard. I ran hard today, so I'm tired. So I'm gonna get a good night's sleep so that when I get home, I'm refreshed, full of energy and present and there. Not all tired and zoned out like a zombie. Beautiful sunset. So another thing I do on the road on my last day before I get home, or last night, I guess, is I make sure everything to do with my YouTube, everything that I can get done, I get done before I go home. Unless if I'm in a rush or something, but on the way back now, I'm not in a rush. I'll make sure everything is done with the channel. Videos are edited so that when I, I'm not, again, so that when I get home, I don't have like a bunch of internet work to do yet. I can just enjoy this weekend. Unlike the last weekend I was home, which was very stressful. I enjoyed being home, but uh, the circumstances of events made the weekend not so fun so i'm hoping fingers crossed for a better weekend this weekend ah my half hour is up i can get back out there do you remember how many bugs were on the front of this truck in the morning well they're still there and a whole layer of new ones yet added a few north dakota bugs to my collection you can see a little on my windshield here but the front you can't even see the bumper it's just bugs it's terrible so it's been settled we're going to blue beacon in fargo they're open 24 hours according to google so there shouldn't be a lineup by the time we get there and then we're going to stay in fargo for night and then we're going to drive home tomorrow during the heat of the day i just hope it's not going to rain even if it rains that's okay it's better than having all these bugs on here I'm going to drive home during the day before all the bugs come back out. We're going to get home, get it in the shop before before they all wake up again in the evening. What do you think? That's my plan. We made it. So we're going to do the same wash as we did last time. 
It's, uh, I think it's called the Citrus uh, Polish Protection. So I, was, I have no idea. What they do is they, they cover up the tanks and all of the, uh, the rims and stuff. And they give the whole truck a, a coat of brightening or brightener. I don't really know how they do it. And I'm too tired to figure it out right now. I'm at the end of my day. I literally have 16 minutes left to park. Which should be plenty enough time to park. I think that might even get me over to Flying J a um, couple of blocks that way. That's where I'm hoping to stay the night, then I can have a shower. But we'll see what happens. I don't have 16 minutes from right now, but I have 16 minutes from when I start driving again. I only got 16 minutes of drive time left. It's been a long day. Just like every other day. This is trucking. I'm a truck driver. Every day is a long day. You work an eight hour day? That's cute. That's right. That's cute. So what do you do after lunch? <laughs> Every day is a 14, 16 hour day. But I'll tell you something. There's nothing I'd rather be doing than trucking. I have a quick look at her now. As clean as she'll be. much better and I see thunder off in the distance and it's probably gonna rain tomorrow but at least all those bugs are off the front end four minutes left actually no, I'm not often gonna sleep or breath there we go Stuck right here for the next 10 hours. Fargo Flying J. I was able to find a spot here yet, which is awesome. Cause I'm gonna go use their showers. Uh, I don't have a fuel card for uh, TA and Petro. Well then again, maybe mine does work there. I've just never tried it. But anyways, uh, I gotta grab fuel here in the morning, but I do have a shower credit available to me. So I'm gonna go in here, have a little late night shower. And uh, tomorrow we'll be on our way home. I'm four hours from our yard, or three and a half, four hours. So uh, we'll get a good night's sleep here and get all rested up and go home for a few days. Uh.